Good morning, everybody. This is the Diane in the Morning Show here on the Home Business Radio Network. How is everybody this morning? What's going on? You know, guys, what we have here, if you haven't heard, is positive powered radio and I want to make sure if we haven't met that we have a chance to say hi to you Diane Hockman I've been in the industry for 12 years I've done every crazy and cockamamie kind of method under the sun to build my business it's been a joy it's been a blast I've been able to bring up two kids around my business uh, have a wonderful family wonderful life and I am so 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 blessed and excited to be here with you today so First of all, I want to make sure you guys know where you can reach me if you need me. Call me, beat me if you want to meet me. Uh, you can find me. My site is over at Diane Hockman, H-O-C-H-M-A-N dot com. Definitely put in your name and email. Check in regularly. I'll send you out some good stuff. We'll be in touch. Um, and then also, I love to get any feedback and comments over at Twitter. Twitter's a lot of fun. If you haven't used it a lot, you can find me at twitter.com forward slash Diane Hockman. So send me a note. Let me know you heard the show or anything you like, uh, stuff like that. It's pretty great. Excited about it. So uh, I want to talk to you guys about a couple of concepts today that make a huge difference in uh, building a business. See, when we're starting, um, a lot of times, folks, they're just, they just They want to make a sale. They want to make a sale. They want to make a sale. And of course, I want to make a sale too. You know, we all want to make a sale. I did. Um, And uh, I did do make some sales right at the beginning and it's all good. But over a little bit of time, we start to understand more and more and more about the business world. And by the way, this applies to getting a job. This applies to finding the right house if you're looking for a house. This involves getting the right help for your kids, uh, you know, in school and stuff like that. So it's all about networking and building networks of people. Now, the reason why they call, a lot of you guys are involved in network marketing. And it's called network marketing because it's designed that you share information with your network of colleagues, people you know, friends, family, etc. And then they're able to pass along the info to the people that they they know that might be interested in what you have. So instead of you going around one by one trying to quote unquote get people, you're able to actually leverage, and you want to write that word down, leverage lots of people to help you locate the right the right people for what you have, your product or service or whatever. Now there's an old story that's been told in network marketing for a million years. Imagine you went into a big parking lot. You ever been in one of those parking lots that is all covered with like gravel stones type of thing instead of uh, being paved? Imagine you're looking at this field, this parking lot full of gravelly stones. And someone said to you, you can go in there and every time you find different colored stones, they would be worth so much money to you. So there might be green ones and red ones. They're all gray, basically, but when you flip them over, you'll find a green one, a red one, or you might find one that's a diamond, okay? And that corresponds a lot of times to the ranks in different network marketing companies, the types of people that you might put into your team. And the idea is that you have to go through as many people as you possibly can and of course you want to go as fast as you can to get to where you want to go because if you knew it was a guarantee that you were going to make good money if you could just find those colored stones you'd go in there and you'd start looking like crazy but then the question is would you look by yourself or would you get some help And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about circle of influence, the way that a lot of people teach how to use your circle of influence. I have a little bit of a different take on it, but the one thing I will tell you, and by the way, if you're new to the industry, circle of influence are friends, family, and people you know, people that you know pretty much on a first name basis. Um, And so it could include teachers and dry cleaners and um, your mailman and et cetera, et cetera, everybody you know. A lot of people teach and sometimes people shoot arrows at me for talking about it this way but it's it's what I did and it's what I do so I teach what I did a lot of people teach you got to get everybody 
and you got to get them into a pr presentation as if they are a prospect. So you got to go to your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, your nieces, you know, your whole neighborhood, etc., the whole PTO, and get them into a presentation. And we're taught that then it's up to them to make the decision about whether or not it's right for them. And that's great. And and. 10, 15 years ago and, and further back, I think that that was extremely viable and it worked extremely well. Clearly, people have made millions and millions and millions of dollars. But today, 2012, 2013, 2014, pretty soon it'll be 2015, can you believe? 2015 is right around the corner. It seemed like the new millennium was coming just yesterday and now we're you know 15 years in. Because of the movement of media, because of the speed of media, we now have 400 TV channels, we can go on the internet, we're being bombarded with information and we're being bombarded with business opportunity offers. And because of that, people are a little more skeptical. People are a little more jaded. Uh, most people have been exposed in one way or another to a biz op and um, many of them had very unpleasant experiences when they were exposed because somebody turned into a zealot and they went after them and they had to get them. So what I teach people is one, first of all, you must, you must, you must make what I call da 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 the dreaded list of 100, okay? Everybody tells you make that list of 100 people that you know. You must make it, okay? You must make it. Okay, a lot of people want to find some magical internet way to avoid it. You know, I'm an internet marketer and I train on internet marketing, but when I start somebody in network marketing, I'm always telling them, you really need to do this. But here's the twist. Here's why you don't need to worry and here's why it doesn't need to be awkward. And by the way, if you tell me you don't know 100 people, you're lying. <laughs> okay, how's that for straight in your face? You know a lot more than 100 people. List them, okay? And then what we're going to do is instead of trying to quote unquote get them, we're going to leverage them. See, here's, here's the magic. If you call up Aunt Mary and say, Aunt Mary, I'm having a grand opening for my business. I want you to come over on Tuesday night and I'm going to show you you know, my business and maybe it's right for you. Aunt Mary will come up with every excuse under the book. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta soak my teeth. I gotta, you know, wash my hair. I gotta, you know, whatever. People will make excuses to get out of coming to that because they feel uncomfortable. They're in a sales environment. People don't like sales environments. But if you say, and check this out, it's such a great pivot. It's such a great move. It's magical. Aunt Mary, it's Sally. Hey, listen, you know I was looking for something to do so I could stay home with the kids. I could retire early. I could pay off our debt, whatever it may be. And I found something. It's in the blankety blank industry, health and wellness industry, whatever it might be. Would it be okay if I put you on my newsletter and I sent you over a catalog in case you know anyone? that might be interested. Maybe you know some other moms or some other people that are looking to earn some extra money. Aunt Mary is going to say yes. Period. Aunt Mary is going to say yes because you didn't solicit Aunt Mary. You asked her for help. So write that down. If I ask people for help, they will help me. If I solicit them, they will run away. Now, guys, if you're really skilled, if you're really good, if you have a really slick sponsor, rock it. Get everybody in a room, do a presentation, they're going to close for you. But I was on my own. My sponsor lived hours away. The way they recruited was t meetings two nights a week. They were three hours away. How was I going to get anybody to go with me, you know, six, three hours down, three hours back for an hour meeting? It was impossible. I had to find another way. This was the way. When you go to somebody, your dry cleaner, the mailman, whatever, and you say to them, hey, would it be okay if I put you on my newsletter, if I sent you a DVD, if I sent you out a catalog, whatever, about what I have going on, maybe you know some people I could help. The automatic response from that person will be yes. There is no way they're going to turn down helping you. Now, here's what's cool. You get the name, the address, the email, whatever it may be. You send them whatever you want to send them, whether it's putting them on your newsletter for, you know, email list, whether it's sending them out a catalog, whether it's sending them out a DVD, whatever you have from your company is awesome, okay? 
here's what's cool. If they are nosy, if they're wondering what you're up to, guess what they're going to do? They're going to peek through everything. And guess what happened? You got a presentation in anyway without the person feeling like you were coming to get them or trying to close them. Now, if they're not nosy and they're not really curious, some of them may throw the stuff away. It's possible, you know, if they're really not connected to you or whatever. But most people, what they'll do is they'll set it aside. They'll, they'll find out what you're doing. They'll set it aside. And literally, if you take your list of 100 and you contact those 100 people and you get them to be just aware of what you're doing, you will have 200 ears, right? 100 sets of ears. 200 ears listening for people that are saying, I need to make some more money. I think I'm getting laid off. I'm pregnant. I want to be home with the kids. And what will happen is you will start to get contacted by your circle of influence saying, hey, I passed your stuff along to Sally. I work with her. She's pregnant. She wants to stay home. Or, hey, uh, I passed your stuff along to Joe. He's having some health problems and he's going to be, you know, he's not going to be able to work. Needs to make some extra money. You will have all of these people literally working for you and they'll be doing it for free. See, if we go after them, we try to get them and we pressure them or make them feel awkward, you now have a 100 people like going like, oh gosh, here they come again. Every holiday, your family's going to be like, oh gosh, they're going to pitch me again. And every time there's a meeting or this or that or people run into you, they're going to be like, oh gosh, here they come again. But if you are super cool, and that's the theme, you know, when I talk with my people and I train my people, I talk about being super cool, super cool with people, getting the word out, sharing with them, getting them to help you out, but being super cool, not that cheesy, I'm coming after you feeling, but super cool. Hey man, I really appreciate it, you know, uh, and just being super cool. If you work this way, what happens is you now have the ability and their permission to send out additional information periodically. New DVD comes out, you send it back out to Aunt Mary with a sticky note. Hey, Aunt Mary, here's the new DVD. Can you throw away the old one? Hang on to this one in case you know anyone that's looking. You now get to send, every time there's a product launch, you can send Aunt Mary a brochure. Every time there's some special thing going on in your company, you have the ability to send them a link to watch a video online because you're asking them for help, not asking them to buy. You're asking them for help, you're not asking them to sign. And literally, you can go back to them monthly, quarterly, depends on what you have going on, for years on end. Now, I want you to write this down. People buy in their time, not in your time. I'll say it again. People buy in their time, not in in your time. What does that mean, Diane? It means we can't make them ready just because we're ready. We can't get someone to want to start a home business when it's not their time. Just because you started one doesn't mean it's their time to start one too. But if we are continually in contact with the people, if we are continually following up, if we are continually in relationship but never making them feel awkward or yucky, What happens is life circumstances change. Johnny just realized how much it's going to cost. His son is really bright. His son is looking at some major colleges. He's just realized that it's going to cost $200,000 minimum to send his son to the college that he knows. He he started to realize his son can get into Harvard, Yale, whatever. He needs two hundred thousand dollars he just figured this out his kids a sophomore he has two years that guy is looking to make money in that moment that's when he remembers you that's when he goes maybe I should call Mary back up maybe I should call Donna back up let me see what Donna's up to or that's when they pull that DVD or his wife goes you know maybe we should look at that DVD we have and that's when they're ready to receive the information it's the same with your products Guys, especially if you're in health and wellness, I, I want to break the biggest fallacy that there is under the sun. And I'm going to burst your bubble. If you're in health and wellness, you'll get mad at me now. You're going to be like, I can't believe she said that. Nobody wants to be healthy. Okay? 
I'm telling you now, nobody wants to be healthy, and I promise you, nobody wants to pay to be healthy. What? What are you crazy? Everybody wants to be healthy. No, they don't. They want to look good, and they don't want to die. <laughs> what? Guys, people don't spontaneously, very few people, yes, there's a few of you, and some of you guys are like, I do, very small percentage of people will spontaneously do what they need to do to be healthy. What happens is they do what they need to do to look good, to be fit and be hot. <laughs> or they do what they need to do. Everybody's like eating like hamburgers and hot dogs and fries and wings and all this other stuff. And then they go to the doctor because their wife was nagging them. They find out that their cholesterol is high and they're at risk for a heart attack. All of a sudden, they're very excited about a cleanse that will help them take off 20 pounds. <laughs> See, three weeks ago, they weren't. Today they are because a life circumstance came. The doctor's visit came and it changed their perspective. And what you want is for everybody to know what you're up to. So when that life circumstance hits them, in the moment it hits them, you come to mind. You want to be position to be the only logical choice. The person that they know, like, and trust who's been in this for a little while, who has information that could help them. They will call you if you handle this right. If you turn them off, if you annoy them, if you bug them, if you go on and on and on and on and on about your patented nutraceuticals with the, uh, you know, vitamins A, C, and E, and Dr. Shmiri Shmiri who founded on the island of Aki Aki, and how he did this and how he did that, and he's a Nobel Prize winner. And if you ramble like that, had a guy on the phone with me the other day. He was just going on and on and on and on about his company statistics and the ingredients in the products. And he was just going and blowing. And guys, doing that makes the people that you love, it makes their eyes glaze over. It makes them go, ah, using company and industry lingo, antioxidant, powerful, nutraceutical, blah, blah, blah. All that stuff means nothing to people. What means something to people is they have a problem, they know, like, and trust you, and they know that you won't give them a hard time. They're willing to walk in, contact you, and ask for information. Their moment is the buying moment, okay? They buy in their moment, in the moment that they need help or they have motivation. You can't motivate someone. You can only make people aware of what's available. Now, here's what's cool about this technique. And here is what will be life-changing for you in your business. If you put heavy focus on getting the word out to both people you know and new people through marketing and branding yourself as the go-to person for XYZ, okay? I worked in a company originally that had... Uh, millions of distributors. I mean, worldwide. There was a, you know, there's a distributor for this company on every corner. And a lot of people will be like, well, I'm competing with so many people. Not true. Because there's only one you. And we all know that we go to certain stores and certain things. There's a coffee shop that you like because you like the people. There's different stores, different places you like because you like the people. There's a, a gym you prefer. There's a, um, auto repair place you prefer. The reason why million places do auto repair. You prefer one because of the people or maybe because of the pricing. Sometimes we make decisions based on pricing. So if you put your focus on spreading the good news, I call it being the candy man. You're skipping around. You're giving out info to people, asking them for help, asking them. And here's the phrase. If you haven't heard it before, hear it now. Who do you know? Okay. Who do you know? My company is opening in Australia tomorrow. I've been skipping around for two months going, who do you know in Australia? Who do you know in Australia? Hey, do you know anyone in Australia that might want, you know, that might be looking for something? Who do you know in Australia? No pressure. I'm not asking them to sign up or do anything. Who do you know in Australia? They're connecting me. And when you get those connections through people that love and trust you and they refer someone to you, that trust conveys. You're leveraging in a magical, magical way. And what you want to focus on is touching as many people as humanly possible because what happens is it accumulates. 
it accumulates and over time you do something like your company comes out with a new product now you have this list built up of all these people that are working helping you out and you're able to send out 300 postcards to people that really trust you saying there's this new product you're going to make 25 sales in a day and everybody at your company will be like how did you do it you're going to have a consistent base of people contacting you asking about signing up and you're going to be able to present to people regularly actually they'll have been pre-presented to because they already have your materials you're going to be able to sign on a consistent basis imagine if you could by default sign five to ten people a month what would happen to your business that's what happens with this technique it is an avalanche over time if you are consistent and of course like I said the buying moment happens in their time some of the people right out of the gate they're gonna take one look at your brochure your flyer your DVD and they're gonna want your product or they're gonna wanna sign up period they're just gonna go this is it I'm in I'm looking for something perfect so you're gonna get people out of the gate but some of them may not sign for a year two years three years and some of them will never sign but they're going to send people to you that will and what I want to ask you is how valuable is that how valuable is it to have tons of people out there referring on your behalf tons of people with their ears working listening for people that have a life moment now that causes them to be in an action taking mode because that's what we're looking for the person that's dissatisfied or in trouble right at this minute the person that needs to take off 50 pounds because their daughter is getting married she just found out her daughter's engaged they just planned the wedding she knows she has a year she's ready to go she's gonna buy your product today by leveraging the people that you know you will bring those people right to your doorstep with ease it's when we chase people when we try to get people when we put people in uncomfortable positions that is when we cause them to avoid us when we make them comfortable when we make it risk-free when we make the information available without the pitch that's when we leverage and make magic so we have a few minutes left guys I want to give you a couple of other tidbits and things um, and first of all I really want to thank all of you I love that you're tuning in I'm starting to get that feedback on Twitter again it's twitter.com forward slash Diane Hockman people are starting to write me a little bit it's exciting the home business radio network being new um, it's just an exciting project for all of us and I'm so blessed to be involved and I want you guys to share I'm gonna do to you I'm gonna right now I'm gonna demonstrate what the technique I was just talking about and by the way the home business radio network is not a money-making entity for me I'm doing this out of the love of the industry but this is what I want you guys to do first of all I want you to go to the home business radio network dot com home business radio network dot com now if you're familiar with social bookmarking and stuff I want you to bookmark it I want you to stumble it I want you to tweet it I want you to share it on Facebook I want to ask you to spread the word to pass this along so that we can locate more and more and more home business owners that are looking for this type of free training this type of uh, excitement this type of motivation this type of uh, you know uh, what's the word I'm looking for personal development um, you know the interviews that we have here the segments we have here they're absolutely incredible so I want you tweet it Facebook it stumble it do everything you can the next thing I want you to do is I want you to go over to Facebook and on Facebook we have a fan page it's home uh, facebook.com let me check and make sure tell you the right thing yeah facebook.com forward slash home business radio network and I want you to go over there and I want you to you know wave hi give us a shout out let us know that you're listening uh, make comments you know definitely like the page of course and again I want to ask you to share this page with all of your Facebook contacts and that would really make a huge difference for all of us and a huge difference for all the people out there today I want you to think about instead of what could I sell I want you to think about who could I help and how can I leverage other people it may not be you that needs the network you just stumbled here but you know someone that needs this network they're on a budget they need free training 24 hours a day and they need it from the best of the best who can you help and the same with your business 
Who can I ask to help me out? Who can I leverage? Who can I put on patrol to help me spread the good news of what I'm doing? You know, it's been 12 years. And 12 years later, I've brought up two, you know, I mean, mother's pride. It is what it is, but magnificent children. Um, I've been able to be with them. We've lived a wonderful life. We, you know, we have great financial freedom. And it's a blessing. I don't feel like I'm soliciting anyone when I talk to people about what I do. I feel like I'm sharing a possibility for what could be in their life. And now as I sit and I look at the next stage of my life, my daughters are 15 and 18, and before you know it, they'll both have flown. And I look at the next stage of my life, myself, my husband, Larry, some of you guys have met, we're going to be able to travel the world. You know, I speak at different events. In fact, I'm off to London next week, and then I'm in Vegas, and then I'm in Nashville. I speak and do all these different things, and we're going to be able to travel the world at these different events and meet all these different people, and it's literally... A fantasy. And I'm not telling you this to tell you, oh, we have all of this stuff. That's not my point. When we started, we had nothing. We were broke. $40,000 credit card debt. We were eating macaroni every night. Um, I had lived the American dream and run us into debt. You know, I, uh, Mr. Visa and Mr. MasterCard were so generous, they lent us all that money. I just forgot that we were going to have to pay them back, you know. And I lived the American nightmare, which we see all over the place bondage of debt and I've also lived the American dream I've recovered and built a business that pays us over and over and over again it's possible for you it's possible for people that are out there that can only hear from you and I charge you today I charge you with the mission of spreading the good news yes you'll make a living yes you'll make money I make money But more importantly, how many mamas do I have with their kids? How many people are recovering from losing their finances in the stock market? How many people that are ready to retire are making extra money because of the work we're doing? This is everything. This is what the home business industry is about. This is what the home business radio network is about. And this is why it's positive powered radio. Guys, again, I invite you. I implore you, come visit me at DianeHockman.com. Leave me comments on the pieces and stuff. Also, you can email me at Diane at DianeHockman.com. Let me know what kind of topics you want me to cover. Let me know what's going on. I'm also looking. Anybody, you know, if you can talk and you want to come on the show, and I'll literally train you live if you want. Let me know. You want to come on the show. We'll do it together. We'll have a good time. Definitely get interactive with me. The more you tell me about where you guys are, the more I can do for you. Find me on Facebook, uh, facebook.com forward slash Diane Hockman training. And um, tweet me, man. Tweet me. I'm lonely over here. I need you. Guys, it's been the Diane in the Morning Show here on the Home Business Radio Network where we have absolutely positive powered radio. And we're coming to you every day just for you make this day yours carpe diem carpe diem i said that really weird and uh you know guys go give something to someone today we'll see you next time take care